was about 2008. The market had crashed. We lost most of our retirement. And the children started looking at things that we could do in our retirement so that as we got older, we could not have to live in their basement probably was their motivation. They decided to buy me a quilt machine. We started it and the idea was just if we could make $10,000 a month, uh, then like 5,000 would go to cost of goods and we'd have $5,000 to give to mom. I mean, it turned into a big family business when it was supposed to be a nice little side gig to help mom pay her bills. Alan came in one day and once he bought the quilt machine, he was looking at what happened with quilting online and it hadn't made the jump yet. And so he came and asked me if I wanted to do tutorials. And of course my response to him was, sure honey, what's a tutorial, you know? It was a big challenge that we had when we got started, right? We're a quilt company in Hamilton, Missouri, population 1500. Now find us. And I just looked at him like he had lost his mind. I'm like, nobody my age is ever gonna go on the computer to find out how to do anything. We have like 500,000 subscribers-ish, and we do about 150 million views total. Once we started putting out these tutorials, I started to get letters. And that's the thing that first struck me, that people were watching. And so it started sort of giving us that courage to go out and build a brand and build a message around these videos that then later became this huge draw. Well, I don't follow TV or movies, so I don't know who a big movie star is right now. I really don't. <laughs> but I mean, in the quilt world, Jenny's bigger than any movie star. People cry. It's a five-year plan to get here. You know, they're, they're saving their money and they're coming to see and be part of Jenny. The word cult following, I mean, yes. Just about every week we have a catering with them of between 25 and 50 people for their retreat center. The Guild has monthly meetings, and almost a year ago, I stood up in front of them and said, would anyone be interested in a bus trip to Missouri Star? Every hand went up. I wouldn't have believed it myself before I worked here, but Jenny's like the Oprah of quilting. It is growing every year. These visitors are coming to see Missouri Star Quilt, so my food is being tasted by people across the world, which is a wonderful thing. Hamilton is a cool story because it's this town that sort of the reason to stay in Hamilton was fleeting. Ten years ago today, hardly nobody on the streets. The buildings were in disrepair, they were falling apart. Everybody was kind of leaving and going for work to bigger cities and there just wasn't a lot of reason to stay here. So we had this whole downtown district that was, I mean, kind of ratty. It, it needed some love, it needed a little bit of uh, investment to keep the brick up. I mean, we had a few that we remodeled with a chainsaw to the floor. You know when you bring in a chainsaw to your remodel, you're doing, you know, there's something big. The fact that we were able to go in and do that, I mean, that's one of the coolest things that we've got to participate in. When you're in the middle of it, you don't actually realize what's happening on. The best thing to me happens when somebody who lived in Hamilton before comes back and they are just astounded at what we've done. I work with the Chamber of Commerce, and so I get to see a lot of that business growth. You know, we had a man uh, over in Chillicothe who paints beautiful murals, and he came in and painted that for us. And then it was so cool to have that, that we thought, we need one on this wall, and we need one on that wall. You know, it was just fun to do that. But we've got sidewalks in with railings, and we've got nice streets in, and all of that has come about because of the quilt company. So that's amazing to me. At the beginning, you know, they were a little afraid of what was happening here. You know, they didn't know why, what would happen with all these fabric stores taking the town over, right? And as I've worked with them for the last three years, it's just more and more welcoming and working together with churches and with everyone. We get to build this awesome community together. So I think what most people don't understand about quilting, they think it's just sewing. And I thought it was just sewing for a very long time. But what happens when you make something for somebody else uh, is that you create something that wasn't there before and it changes you. And you start off doing it because you want it. You want it in your life, in your family. And then pretty soon you have enough and then you start giving it away. And that's what really changes people. Every person who walks into that room, it's, it's an amazingly different place because now there's color in there and now there's a conversation piece in there. And that's what's amazing to me.